Have you ever struggled with negativity, wondering if it's something that's here to inform you or if it's something that you need to negotiate and do away with? Um, it's hard to discern sometimes whether it's trying to be helpful or negative thinking or not. Um, one thing that you can do is maybe replace expectations with curiosity, and I think that might help. I actually had the opportunity to practice that today, so it's been quite a week for us. Um, we had the opportunity to set up a garage gym for our children, and so that entailed building a power rack, setting up other equipment, a lot of decluttering and cleaning. We've had some travel and I had not one, but two Thanksgiving meals, one with my husband's family and one with mine. And so walking into the gym this morning, I was really struggling. Everything felt difficult, even the warm ups felt difficult. And so what I noticed is that my negativity started to kick in, questioning whether I should even be here, whether I needed another rest day. But instead what I did is I replaced expectations with curiosity. And I was quite astonished at how well that worked. So instead of having expectations of, I wanna perform as well as I did last week, or even better, because that was actually the intent, I just said, what might be possible on a day like this? On a day where there's been travel, where there's been Thanksgiving, where there's been a lot of manual labor at home. And I just began to replace that with curiosity. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if this goes well. And all of a sudden my energy began to shift. And instead of feeling very innervated and depleted and questioning whether I should even be here, I could feel my motivation start to come back and actually enjoy and focus and be fully present in my lifting. Now the outcome wasn't extraordinary. Um, I did well, a whole lot better than I thought I would and even some of my accessories lifts went really well. And so I'd like to challenge you the next time that you are confronted with negative thinking. Um, it's here to try to keep us comfortable it's try, trying to hold us back and protect us. And sometimes that's a very good thing, but at other times it's not serving us well. So in order to use a barometer to determine which way to go with the thinking, whether to listen to or to not, just replace it with curiosity and then see where it takes you. That might be the answer to that question. I hope you enjoyed this leadership warm up, and until the next one. And don't forget, if you want more leadership warm-ups, please connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm Miranda Walachowski. You can also connect with us at our YouTube channel, Leading and Teaming by Miranu. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye now.